Hey everyone, Turing Hacker here, and welcome back to Don't Starve Adventure Mode. So, last time we got one thing, and we are somewhere sort of near another one. Okay, so it's further north. No, it's not for. We were near a second one. Huh. Or a third one, I guess. Okay, well that helps some. Okay, so up here somewhere we're gonna find one. Unfortunately, our hunger is running a little low. So that may become problematic. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop down a trap, dig up a rabbit, and we're gonna have some rabbit. In fact, I'm gonna do that a few times. Because otherwise, we may end up dying just from hunger, and that would be terribly sad if we've got this far and we die from hunger. Okay, kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. And then we'll make fire. Grab those earmuffs off, because of course... Okay, we've used up all of our bushes that I had, but we've got lots of grass tufts around. So, we'll feel free to use those. Rabbits are not going to be a plentiful source of food, but they definitely will get us through our current predicament. And go. Okay, so, where's that thing at? It has to be yeah, here somewhere. Okay, where's the trap? What's the trap? The trap was the hounds, which are just north of here. We went around them, so we're good. Okay, we did accidentally already venture towards hounds, or not hounds, towards a... Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's so that's an ice staff, which could be very good. It also could be very bad. It's going to waken all these hounds when I take it. I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. Because I can outrun them eventually. I don't know. Are they resistant to ice? Like, can they be frozen? I'm not sure. Yeah, so they're going to follow me for a little while. I would fight, except there's four of them, which is a lot. Okay, somewhere when we were down here, there was... Oh, look, my fire. Okay, if I'm here, I... Oh, there's five of them. Jeez, I thought there was only four. Sorry, Chesty! Using you as... Using you as a... Shield. Okay, so we killed all those. We got a ton of hound trap. Hound teeth. Those could become incredibly useful later. We did lose some health, though. We're probably gonna have to eat some monster meat, which I really don't want to do, but... It may be the only way forward until we find some more rabbits or something of that nature. So, okay, let's go. Let's go, go, go. We're on a clock here. Oh, here's some rabbits. Come here. Because whatever we want to do, don't starve. Most basic way in this game to die. Yeah, we we needed to. We really did. I'm getting rabbits so we don't have to do it again, but we really needed to that time. 
Okay, we have lost some sanity from that. That's unfortunate, but kind of to be expected. Okay, now we're getting somewhat close. I'm going to go cook these as well as warm up. If I had a hat, that would be a little better in some ways. Because then at least we would have sanity going up, but we don't, so fire it is. Okay, now let's take off these earmuffs, because we want them to last as long as possible. And we got ourselves an ice staff. Cool. Cool and useful. Uh, have I built a science machine yet anywhere? Yes. Okay, so we did we did build one science machine. So we're gonna go ahead and heal a bit from them their bunnies. Leave the hound's tooth for later. Toss that inside Chesty as soon as he Ah, he's full. Got it. We'll need this eventually. Okay. I'm thinking we should go. Let's go ahead and grab some more of these before we go. Wasting a little bit on the rabbit earmuffs, but it's worth it at the moment. Okay, so we got two things, right? One, two, good. Like I said, I don't remember how many it is. Because it's been too long since I've actually been close enough for it to matter. But I want to say there's four. So we've got two of four, potentially. Okay, I'll take these off. And then as soon as morning hits, we're go-go-going. I wish I could heal Chesty. <laughs> I know he's his health is not great. Mine's not either, but I can heal. He cannot. So <laughs> that is a little bit of a difference. No, keep these off. I was read it wrong. I don't know why. A thou ten thousand days left of winter. Well, there we go. Yeah. So our stats are not great. Let's go. Come on, Chesty. Okay. Now. Like I said, the thing we just gotta keep asking ourselves is what is the trap? Because there's gonna be one anywhere we go. Go ahead and catch some rabbits for supper later since food has become such a problem as of late. Oh, and I got hair from it. Hmm. I actually did not know you could do that. That's interesting. Okay, so scary rabbits give you hair. Maybe it's sometimes, maybe it's all the time. Sometimes. Well, monster meat is at least something. Beefalo! Hello! Okay, so found beefalo. And then where is the thing? Hmm. Back up here? Confused. I'm not seeing it. Oh, I missed an area. Okay. Thought this was coast. It is coast. That's not good. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Ah, here we go. Okay, the great. Does anyone remember the obelisk mystery that I talked about? Well, I did not know how to get through the obelisk. We're gonna find out today. Because there's obelisks right down here. I just didn't see them. We're also gonna do the hunt as we go through. Ah! 
So let's do the hunt first, because potentially we can get some meat out of that. Or we can get something really, really bad. We'll see which one holds out. Okay, the two thermal stones in the backpack was definitely a good idea. So if you have resources, definitely do that. Pro tip. And what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Oh, good. Qualifying. Okay. So. We got a source of meat. Now let's make fire. And grass tuft. Drop both of these. Take off our earmuffs. We have other grass tufts around, so we're fine that way. Just need to watch the um, heat to make sure I don't get too cold. Okay, I'm unfortunately going to have to use some more monster meat. Don't got a choice at this moment. It's okay, it'll actually factor into where we're going next. Ooh, I'm out of sticks. That could be a problem. Okay. So now we're warmer. I'm gonna put this inside chesty. We may come back to that later. Oh, wait. Can't do that. Well, <laughs> do we hear them? Okay, so. Got some spears. That be a co-elephant, and he's gonna be my supper. And I'll show you how to hunt a co-elephant. Can only help. As soon as I figure out how to stop him. I think I'm gonna have to take him to the edge of the world, probably. We don't have stuff for a helmet at the moment, so that's unfortunate. I think I can also make Chesty hold him to. Okay, so he's gonna now chase me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you can actually do six hits on him at a time. But we only needed five, so it's fine. Okay, now, I'm going to turn all of these into some sweet, delicious meats. I'll leave these over here. As well as a... I could either cook the trunk, or I could turn it into a jacket. Because we're not that hard up on... Heat, I'm just gonna eat it because it's a lot of hunger and a lot of health. Both of which we need right now. <laughs> Pretty badly. Okay, so I'll take these back up and we'll head on down here to. Okay, so it's back to the east. Okay, um. Looks like we may want to start watching our. Uh, log. Oh no, we have an extra stack of logs. So yeah, we'll we'll pretty much have to throw down, <laughs> throw throw down fire whenever we can now because we do not have torches, or at least stuff for torches. We're headed in the right direction. I love how you can see a triangle there. <laughs> not a triangle, a, a diamond there. Whenever we do that, so now I'm gonna throw down a. Fire. Okay, so these are obelisks. We are actually almost to the point where they will finally move. So yeah, ever wondered how to make obelisks move? That's what we're going to find out next. So, right now we're quite insane. Yes? Well, we're not insane enough. We have to be really cuckoo to be able to go through the obelisks. Because 
when we're fully insane. I don't think it's quite when we hit zero sanity, but it's close. It's probably at about 20%, I would assume. So 50. So a little bit, not too long. We should hit that, and then we will suddenly see the obelisk drop. Also, I'm going to stay full. Because one bad thing about Wicker Bottom, and this is a big drawback, she can't eat anything that's below green in terms of food. Because if she does, she takes a penalty for it. And sometimes the penalty is enough where actually having the food doesn't even match it. I mean, it's just... There's just no point to it. Okay, I'm not crazy enough now. So let's go get crazy. Question is, how do we do that? I'm gonna look for those rabbits. And then I'm just gonna hug one for a little bit. So let's go hug me a rabbit. Hello, rabbit. Tricks are for kids, right? Yeah, you're a nice little rabbit. So, this drops my sanity, not quickly, but it does drop it. And he can't run into his hole because I dug it up. Yeah, so if I get him to run back and forth between me and Chesty, then it'll drop quickly, but... Right now I'm actually not getting close enough to him to make it do that. Yeah, I'm guessing it's 20%. I know it's you have to be pretty insane to do it. So, right now we're just chasing a little rabbit around. Little scary rabbit. Scared for his life. But then again, I'm completely insane, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's pretty close to him there for a little while. That was really helping my sanity. Go down. <laughs> Go down. Yeah, so. Obelisks, other than that, you cannot get past them. You really can't. You can't destroy them. Anything. So how fortunate that we finally get a chance to see them drop. So, I think we should be hitting... We should be hitting what I believe to be the magic number soon. Oh, come on. Come on, Wabbit. Don't you want to play? Okay, let's toss some of these then. At least one of them then. Okay, we only got another six more to go. So yeah, rabbits can really mess you up, apparently. If you're insane. Tell me about the rabbits, George. Good thing there are rabbits over here, or else I'm not sure how I would drop my sanity like that. Um, I'm trying to like, go pick a bunch of dark flowers. Or evil flowers. Uh, what else could I do? Go hang out with the hounds. Go fight a bunch of enemies. Go dig some graves if they were around. Okay, well, apparently it's not 20%. 15 maybe? So that would put me at... Let's see. 15% would be around 30-something. We're actually not that far off. And the rest of our stats are now pretty good. This is something we absolutely must do in order to get through there, so it's not like I'm actually wasting anything. Only way we can get past these obelisks is by being k cuckoo for crazy puffs. Okay, I don't I'm pretty sure we... Ah, there we go. Yeah, so whenever the red lines appear, that's when you can get through there. Unfortunately, 
Now we're gonna have monsters, the shadow monsters, chasing after us. Okay, so the thing's here. It was the trap that we had to go all the way through there. There's also some pigs here. Hmm. I wonder if pig king's around here. That'd be great. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, let's take out the... Gnome. Because we'll just turn it into gold if we can find Pig King. If not, oh well. I'm going to do a quick lap here. And then... I'm not sure if we'll find anything or not. Go ahead and build us a campfire. Because... Need heat right now. At least rabbit earmuffs are fairly easy to make. That is one good thing. So as long as we can find more rabbits, which we can, we should be okay on that front. Oh, and here's how to fight shadows. You just run at them, you back away just a bit as they swing, and then hit them once you can do to try to hit them more than once is keep holding the attack button and if they happen to spawn right next to you they will get hit immediately but sometimes that'll happen so yeah not necessarily a foolproof thing but it sometimes works at least I found the hunt the hunt is very important, I've decided, in adventure mode. For that sort of sudden boost of hunger and health. Assuming you get the right thing. If you got the wrong thing, that would be very bad. Okay, I'm gonna throw this last grass tuft in there. Please stay lit. Thank you. Okay, so now we got nightmare fuel. Unfortunately, we're never going to have the machine that we need to actually use the nightmare fuel. And we'll need to be driven crazier to be able to go through the um, obelisks, but we shouldn't have a problem with that because we're already super cuckoo, so this beard hair is going to be incredibly useful if I find enough of it. Because then we can make what's known as a meat effigy. And basically, it's a respawn point. It's similar to a touchstone. So if we can if we can make one of those, that'd be great. Because that is one downside of not having Wilson. Is that he, he can make meat effigies easily just by shaving. Because he grows the magnificent beard. But wicker bottom here. Nah, I don't think she'd look right with a beard. So, you know. Okay, what do we leave behind, assuming we make it through to tomorrow? I'm gonna go with the Nightmare Fuel and the Gnome. But, so that's day six. We're now up to a total of three things. And yeah, so... Thanks so much for watching. I'm Turing Hacker, and be sure to tune into the next one so we can see if we can find the rest of them things. Thanks. Take care. Bye bye.